Connecticut Democrats have picked their candidate in the race for the 5th Congressional District, former Simsbury First Selectman Mary Glassman. Happened a short time ago. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, live at Crosby High School in Waterbury, where that convention was held tonight. Mark. Yeah, hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone. I can tell you that uh, the news about Ned Lamont and Susan Beisowitz was all the buzz here of these Democratic delegates here tonight. But we also had a real cliffhanger, uh, which actually went right down to the wire till just a little less than an hour ago. The victor, as you said, is former first select woman Mary Glassman. She wins on the second ballot, 173 to 167, just inching by former National Teacher of the Year, Johanna Hayes, which means there may be a three-way primary. I've been in primaries before, so it's the democratic process. I respect the process, and regardless of what happened tonight, I'm going to go out and work hard and earn the support of the voters throughout the 5th District. I have to talk to my family and see what the next step is, but for someone who's never run for political office to be separated by so few votes means that the people are listening, means that something that I said resonated with enough people in this room, and I'm a person who does better with the people anyway. I'm a person who shares the narrative of so many people in this 5th Congressional District. Now, New Britain Alderman Manny Sanchez also qualifies for the August primary. He got 17% of the vote on the first ballot, and the rules are that if you get 15% or more on any ballot, uh, then you qualify. And he is definitely moving on to the primary. As you heard, Johanna Hayes isn't sure. Of course, she's never done this before. Uh, the reason this thing all changed around, because Johanna actually uh, looked as though she was ahead. But uh, after the first ballot, after he had qualified, Manny Sanchez, the alderman from New Britain, went to the stage and announced that he was releasing his delegates so they were free to switch. And that's what many of them did. Uh, but unfortunately for Johanna Hayes, most of the switches went to Mary Glassman. Live from Crosby High School in Waterbury, Mark Davis, News 8.